Okay, everybody, Silent Chill here again. So, I've had a good uh, few hours playing on the Rift. So, I thought I'd give a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a breakdown on what I think. Um, so, firstly, SD screen door effect. It's loads, loads better. It is loads better. Like looking at this screen here, you look for it, you can see it. But the worst thing about this screen is the God Rays. It's everywhere coming out at you. But I've got you sitting and I'm, I wasn't seeing it as much because you just don't see it. Um, but I mean, that now is really, really good. It's crisp, it's clear, it's. <laughs> It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It is good compared to the DK2. It, it's far, far better. Loads better. And I'm just being picky because you know the SD is there. So you just keep looking for it all the time, even though you don't need to. But uh, the blacks are good. But. I mean, now with that, I'm getting the God Rays coming up and over and everything. It's, it's, I don't know. I haven't tried to film or anything. All I've played is this and um, the demos, the T-Rex and the alien stuff and whatever. But it's just the black and the bright. I can't believe that Oculus never mentioned it. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that it's fine. Right. So let's, uh, let me just get, and this does matter because it, I don't know how to get to the next screen. There's a few annoying things with project cars. And I can't. Right, let's just go and do a, a practice and then we can have a look at some stuff. I mean there, the Dubai Autodrome, you can see it leading out of there and then you've got the free re practice that's beaming out the God Rays and then the whole start that's beaming out. I mean, there is a, a bit more of a, a sweet spot where it doesn't come out so much but I mean, uh, that's just pff, big rays coming out from the Dubai Autodrome International, and the, the rest is fine. I mean, there, uh, it's just slight. We don't know, it's, if, you, if you're just there, you, you, you won't notice it. it it's because I'm looking for it, you can see it. But if you're just messing around and doing whatever, you won't notice it. No, no, you don't see the screen, the screen door effect. You don't see it at all. When you're driving, you can't see it. At the time, you can, really. And I bet there isn't anything on this. It's when it's a full, a full colour. Like, um, let's see if there is anywhere. Try to get at. Well, that's just beautiful. It is. It, it, it's a massive leap ahead from the DK2, and the road you can see absolutely perfect, straight way off into the distance. You can see your apexes. You can see your cars. You can read the writing. 
see the arrow there. Um, right there. The barrier. It's, it's not so much that either. <laughs> it's hard to describe. Obviously, uh, the shadows don't work on this though. It's an artifact to hell. All over the place. Um, The orange, the red, the white, the red, and it seems to be red when it's further away. You get it, just seems to have a lot more uh, screen door effect. Whereas my arms here, I can't, I can't see it at all. But if you're just flying past, you don't see it. You don't see it. You only see it if you're looking for it. That's the thing, you just will not be able to tell. Rays just non existent. There's nothing going from the five, fifth, five year on the dashboard. Uh, uh, absolutely. I think if so it's the sun rays coming through, that looks really good though. <laughs> no, that isn't the god rays. Yeah, it's like that uh, in the distance. That's where the SD comes in like that orange barrier over there. That's where you can see, you can see it the most. But if you're just driving around, you can't see it because you're too busy looking at everything else. Another thing, the IPD slapped me here, it was just brilliant and you just change it and then looks like it was well. Changing it, thinking that I was going cross-eyed. I just wasn't, just wasn't focusing properly or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's easy. You can just go into the menu and change it whenever you want. Well, you can change it as and when you want to. But also, you can go into the Oculus menu and change it from there. But the inside, I mean, it's just awesome absolutely awesome and to someone who <coughs> has never tried vr before this will like everybody else has blown the mind it really will and it's just because i've got that used to dk2 that i was I, I just don't know what i was expecting but the tracking is absolutely brilliant i mean i don't have to move uh, the camera i just twist it when i was demoing it to my mate before his wife it's absolutely fine. I don't know if it moves a bit more whilst I'm in the, the seat. I don't know. It doesn't lose tracking like the old camera does. I think it's a lot more forgiving. And also, I've got to say, Sim Tools version 2 data is absolutely awesome. Your buddy's X Simulator has done an awesome job it. So far, I was working any bumps and things off the track. Project cars. The set of course set was different, you got a lot more because they're all laser scanning tracks. And this, it was just basically driving down a marble road or something, I don't know. Nice and smooth. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And the speakers, I have got a, a rather large head. So I do have to keep playing about with, and the same with the, uh, the Rift Rock, I've got a massive, massive nose. But, and I've actually uh, turned the crowds back as well because it seems to work fine. Um, I mean, I, I just, Absolutely awesome. All this 
some rays coming through all the, the slats up there. Yeah, the, the headphones are absolutely brilliant. I've turned the volume down so I can actually hear myself speak. Because this rig makes a lot of clunking and clanging and, and I can't hear it. I cannot hear it through the speakers, which is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. It, it really is. The, the quality is really good. It's good levels all the way through. I think the bass, the treble, everything. Spot on. And the mic doesn't seem to pick up the rig like my old uh, Recon, whatever they were, Tactic 3D, it's a, a wireless one that I used to use. Um, but yeah, really good. Nice of the rift, <laughs> not over keen on all the Velcro. It's comfier than the, the DK2, it's a lot lighter. Um, and yeah, it's good, it is, it is really good. And I think I need to put my DK2 back on just to realise how better this actually is. You see, that doesn't help when all this artifact is going on over in there. It's not artifact, you know, whatever you want to call it. Something is going on. Yeah, can I keep <laughs> I'm talking. I'm pathetic at doing a review. LCDs. Obviously, the, the, the contrast colours are a lot of bad. But I don't know what I was looking for there. But anyway, that, that, it's not an issue. The screen door effect is an issue. Um, also, there's something else I was going to say. I should have made a list, but I wouldn't be able to read the list.
much problem reading the dials. As you did in the DK2. Something really not important.
look at some of the videos as well, like I'm being thrown around here. It's quite bad. But when you're actually sat in here, is that what happens in real life? If you strapped a GoPro to your head, sat in the seat, and drove, would you be getting thrown around that much? I think you actually would. I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment below if you want. But yeah, my verdict, I'd say I'd give it definitely 90 out of 100. Definitely. There are a few things that need to be improved, but. Well, no, I'm giving 99, it's the games that seem to improve. It's most of the things that dodge me in the games. detail on the road. Quite a bit into the distance as well. It seems actually like a really good one. This one's where you see it's the greatest coming from. It's like sucking the sun. You get it in one eye, not the other. So that's a project cars issue. my uh, window. Thanks for watching and uh, trying to do something a bit more exciting next time. Bye bye.